So in the last session, uh, last couple of sessions, basically we discussed how to create a, a new UI application. Okay, so basically that application, you need to copy that up. Let me quickly show you what we have done in the last session. MDG, IMG, and uh, general settings, UI modeling, manage UI configurations. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Okay, so in man, once you get into this manage UI configuration, so there, there is a template called the USMD OVP gen template. So this is a, a generic uh, uh, UI application that SAP provided. So we copy this uh, uh, UI application into some Z namespace. So that's where actually we assign our uh, uh, data model. And after that, uh, we followed the other steps uh, like uh, adding the new UI BBs, assigning the feeder classes, adding those uh, L, uh, attributes, and finally, we have done all that uh, make wiring and everything, all the steps we followed. And then this is how the UI application look like. Finally, once we uh, create the UI application and everything. So you can see here, this, this is how the application uh, look like. Mm. So this is how you have this uh, change request uh, UIBB at the top. Uh, uh, and then uh, for every uh, entity, we created a, uh, uh, one UIBB for type 1 entity, another UIBB for type 4 entity. So user can maintain the product data as well as uh, uh, he can extend this material to plants and everything. So this is how the UI look like. Now, in the same way, the standard UI is also Similarly, it all the standard UIs look like in the same way because those are also copied and created uh, uh, from the same uh, template. Okay, so to uh, let me show you that uh, Material Master UI application. Uh, that one. That. So this is the role. I'll take this standard role, and uh, and WPC. So this is Material Master uh, homepage. I'll open in Chrome. Okay. So this is the Material Master you uh, the homepage. Basically, here the create application look like the same way. So create material. Okay, so continue. Okay, so collapse all. Now you can see this is a standard material master UI application where you have one uh, always at the top, you have this uh, change request UI VB, and then you will have material specific uh, data from here onwards. There are different multiple UI VBs are there. Each UI VB represents. Uh, uh, one entity data. So in our example, we have only two UIBBs. One is a uh, uh, product basic details, the other one is plant. Whereas in material master standard UI, there are multiple UIBBs are there. So you can expand uh, each of uh, this UIBB and uh, maintain the data over here. So this is the standard uh, uh, UI application for material master, which usually 
uh, available as an out of box uh, applications once you install uh, mdg components and this is the custom application how it look like the only difference is there here you find the number of uh, more number of uivbs because material master contains a lot of uh, uh, different uh, attributes views and everything so uh, they create sap created multiple uh, uibps over here whereas in our example we just created one simple plain uh, uh, ui application with uh, two uibps so that is the only difference now if at all i have to enhance or i have to add any attributes or anything in my custom ui application so this can be easily done because i can uh, i'll show you that but this is a custom application i can do whatever the changes that i wanted to do okay as per business requirements i can do but whereas uh, if if you look at the standard material master ui application so all these are the this is a standard object it's a standard sap provided ui application and you see all these attributes are the standard attributes now if at all i have to add one custom attribute over here okay or else uh, i wanted to add one new uibb over here okay mm -hmm. so then the that 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 is not actually a straightforward one because we wanted to enhance the standard sap provided ui application with some custom changes it can be adding a new attribute in the existing uibb or adding a new uibb altogether so you can actually you want as per business needs you wanted to hide something or you wanted to add uh, some new uh, uibb or attributes so that comes under uh, part of your extension extension or enhancement so enhancing the standard ui application so till yesterday's session in the last session we discussed how to create a brand new ui application so that entire application is in z namespace that means it's a custom application now also i can i can go to this uh, edit mode of this ui application so this is a custom ui application starting with z okay so now i can actually open this ui application and uh, go to uh, uh, display and uh, here go to component configuration and if at all you wanted to add a new uibbs over here you can just simply click on this edit button and uh, this uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos okay so once you click on edit button you get to see this plus uibb options so where you can add a uh, new uibbs if at all i wanted to enhance uh, i wanted to add some uh, uh, custom uh, attributes in the existing uibb i can select one of the uibb and go to configure uibb it will take you to the uibb uh, uh, configuration so again you are in edit mode you can actually drag and drop all the attributes uh, that you wanted to add okay so this is a completely already z application you can actually do any changes you wanted to do but uh, when it comes to the standard uh, uh, material master application okay in the standard material master application uh, you, we cannot actually directly edit that uh, okay so that means so this is a standard material master ui application which is uh, uh, pro developed by sap okay now i wanted to add any uh, custom attributes or uh, any uibbs so there are uh, we need to follow a certain approach okay so that actually comes under your enhancement part okay so when it comes to ui enhancements what are the different options or different methodologies that we follow okay so that's where you can see i have listed down all the different uh, uh, type of options over here out of all these options all are kind of uh, uh, technical okay but uh, except one thing you see this context based adaptation so this basically uh, main, uh, actually functionals also can do using this context based adaptation functionals also can enhance the ui application and even the technical folks also can do okay but rest all are basically comes under the te the technical uh, 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 into technical uh, 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 category but uh, only this particular one actually most of the time functional also will uh, do enhancements using this option so you can see here all these are different ways that you can enhance your ui application depends on the requirement depends on the situation you will choose one of these options so now today we will discuss all these uh, uh, options okay 
but uh, if you are a technical so you can it's actually good to have all this knowledge if you are basically mainly functional folks then you can focus when i'm explaining about the cba more you can be uh, more focused uh, on this uh, cba option okay but nevertheless i'll explain all these options okay so and let's uh, look at the first option that i'm going to discuss is personalization okay so this personalization uh, we, uh, personalization basically meant for certain purpose okay it's not actually a technical personalization also kind of uh, uh, functional also can do or basically it is uh, uh, targeted for the end users or business users okay first let's understand what is this personalization and using personalization what changes that i can do okay so now let's look at a, a standard ui application okay this is one ui bb okay where you can you have this uh, all the attributes now sometimes what happens is business user maybe all the time he is actually creating of material types uh, probably FERT material types all the time that means whenever he get into a create a, a mode create a, a material a screen so instead of actually he user uh, do an effort over here select the material type FERT and uh, select FERT material type finished product and you see this value gets updated over here this is your uh, uh, material type okay now user has to select every time but as an user i know that all the time i'm creating this uh, 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 value on i'm selecting this value only why can't uh, uh, is there any way how i can actually default the value so there are multiple ways you can default one option is you can in the uh, body there is a brf rules or be, the, there is a, uh, a derivations part there we will discuss again but now this this is specific to this particular user he wants to have one value all the time so we cannot write any rule specific to user in that case what we can actually suggest to the user is basically so you see this material type is there so always put your cursor on this particular field right click there is something called uh, uh, user settings okay here there is an option called use current value as default that means whatever the value is there currently populated in material type use that as a default value so i'll select this one that means now this value next time onwards whenever my user i mean whenever if i log in and if i try to create a new material always the value will be populated by default with material type let's close this and observe okay i just closed everything now i'll go to the same material creation again create material okay so click on continue don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos okay now see here this value already populated FERT material type okay so that means this is user specific let's say for example if some other user log in and he he for him this value won't get defaulted because here i added this under the user settings in my user settings that value got added as a default value now if at all i don't want that value i can simply discard default value if i say simply discard default value and i close this window next time when i again open this material creation screen 